Good morning, TMI. All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about the various forms of writing an expanded form. You're going to see and need to know it in all three ways. First way we're going to show it is writing with decimals. We have our first number. Simone, I forget how to say this. Two hundred thirty-six and fourteen hundredths. Two hundred thirty-six and fourteen hundredths. Okay, that's how we say it. So pay attention to this because you're also learning word form. We're learning place value. If we watch, Simone, the two is in what place? The hundredths place. So if I'm going to do this, and it says writing in the decimal forms, so I've got two times one hundred. Is this still in decimal form? Yes because even though they're not written, this two's in the ones place, this is 100 ones, which is the same as 100. Plus, Simone, what place value is the three in? The tens place. So I have three tens, or three times 10, which would be 30. If I wanted to write it in the normal form, it'd be 200 plus 30, and I'm just solving it there, plus, uh, Simone, what place value is the 6 in? The 1's place. So I have 6 times 1, which is 6. So again, if I'm writing it in the way you were first shown, it's just going to be what it looks like below. Simone, now we're at the decimal point. So Simone, we're, what place value is the 1 in? The 10's place. And since it says using decimals, we're going to take, we have one tenth times one. Okay, that's using decimals. And one times one tenth is one tenth. And Simone, the four is in what place value? The hundredths. So I'm going to have four times one hundredth which would multiply to be 400. That's how they're doing it when they just show you the, the way with all the answers done. And this is how we're doing it, showing with the uh, place values and multiplying by the decimals. Get it, got it? Good, good. All right, let's do one more like that. And we'll use, oh my gosh, I forget. How do I say this? Uh, 34, no. 39 and uh, 4 thousandths. Good, 39 and 4 thousandths. So those of you struggling with writing it in words, listen to how we're doing it every single time. Every single time. If we pay attention, we use our notes, we listen. I'm just saying, listen. Brindley, stop arguing with me. Yeah. You're sick. Not really, I'm not going to throw up or anything. <laughs> All right, the three is in what place value? The tens place. So I have three times ten, which is thirty. Plus, the nine is in what place value? The ones. The ones. So I have nine times one, which gives me nine. So again, 30 plus 9 is my 39. Plus, I don't have any tenths. I don't have any hundredths. The four is in what place value? The thousandth. The thousandth. So I have four times one thousandth, which equals four thousandths. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Boom, shakalaka. We're going to look at the fraction way. Don't yell at me. We'll look at the fraction way. If I remember correctly, tomorrow you'll have a question that does it with the fractions. So let's take... All right, so we're going to do this with the fraction way. The Kelly, 
How do you say that number? Good, 28 and 27 hundredths. Very good, again, we're hearing place value. We're hearing how to say it in words. So if you listen to the videos, we're teaching you a whole lot of things or you're teaching you a whole lot of things. I'm just saying it. All right, so Kelly, what place values the two in? Tens place. So we have two times 10. Plus, Kelly, what place values the eight in? The ones. Plus eight times one. Kelly, what place value is this two in? Tenths. So we have two times one tenth. Remember, you can say one tenth. It can be written as that or that. It's pronounced the same. So that's why if you write it in fractions, is the same as writing it in decimals because these two numbers are exactly the same value. Because fractions, decimals, and percents are all the same. They're all linked. Like sausage links. No? Okay. Um, Kelly, the seven is in what place value? The hundredth. So we have seven times one, one hundredth. And again, this is the same as writing One one hundredth. Those are the exact same. So you're going to see, they're going to say, which, here's your number in standard form, which one shows expanded form. And it may show you the regular way you've learned. It may show you with fractions, and it may show you with decimals. So what's important is you be able to recognize all three. Again, standard form. Word form, expanded form, be able to identify your place values, add, subtract decimals, compare and order decimals. You have all these things in your journal. And in a moment, we'll do rounding. Boom, shakalaka, we're done. Yes. Thank you for playing.